Hi traders, good morning and good week to all. How are you today? I hope everything is uh, good and you have good time. And you are getting ready for the holiday periods and you are getting ready for, well, the main event and the most important week of 2015 and maybe, maybe just a pre uh, uh, important <laughs> week for 2016 as this week FOMC will have his meetings and they will decide if they increase the rates or not for the first time after long long period all the market is waiting for that and we see that the market started to get ready for that exactly uh, right from the next week we saw dramatic moves and we saw some really 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 serious things happening so uh, the very very serious question uh, was and remain uh, will the fed increase the rates yes or not and that we will get an answer on wednesday but not just that from my point of view while everyone is looking forward uh, to know if the Fed, Fed increases the rates, yes or no. For me, it will be very, very important to understand what the Fed is planning to do the next meetings. Okay? And uh, that's the hint we'll be looking for. And that's what very likely the market will be waiting for. So, uh, basically, ev everything technical we will say until then <laughs> would be just kind of a bet, right? But still, we have to be ready for actions. We have to prepare the ground for potential move, potential action, and then uh, uh, be ready for things while they happen. I would like to start with the dollar yen and the uh, indices because they follow each other and to say that uh, basically we are now on the top of the double waves. You know that I've been talking about it for a long time and that's what we have here, right? two waves up, fine, uh, well, completed by the bearish divergence with a false break right here, with a false break um, again on the tops, right, well, right here, we can see that on lower time frame, there was a false break as well. So basically, it's following some kind of structure of a potential monster reversal. Why? Because that seems to be a head and shoulders. Okay, so far, everything behaves correct for that. The only thing missing is that we need a break below the neckline. And if we get there, then retest and we can start to aim for a massive reversal for this pair. Okay, uh, and of course, everything is relevant as long as we keep this line and we keep the dropping swings here. If it will break it up, and continue after the Federal Reserve meeting, then uh, there it, it it will not leave any doubts that the dollar yen will be aiming towards the 130, maybe slightly even higher for another another high of a divergence, something like that, before finding a top and crashing for different reasons. But currently, as long as this high holds, we are aiming here for big two waves down and very likely we are going for a long run below this area it is going to take time long time but maybe doors will be open right now so uh, one of another sign here was very basically uh, strong is that as um, the slope of the Bollinger Bands middle moving average right that's with uh, with uh, deviation. That's with deviation. The middle one here is 20. It's sloping down. Okay. Now it is sloping down during the range with some kind of tendency to go down, while we have the bearish divergence coming. So basically, this is a very 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 powerful sign for continuation. Okay. Uh, it normally gives some boost. Of course, same with vice versa. Right. W once while we are in the range and you have slope going up that's normally a sign for continuation same is here it's not 100 percent nothing is but that's something to pay attention to more than that i can tell we have 
very rare and powerful candle pattern stick right here at the end of the range after these two waves correction okay and i'm talking about this area okay here after the break of the range of course we got this candle which i call equal tails massive um candle body and equal tails for um for the bears here last time it happened was right here once again was the break of the range and we got this maybe this time maybe this time we will get this <laughs> doubled as it's appeared the second time so er er anyway everything leads for that let's see if the market will be ready for that to happen now what we got until that area if you pay attention was five wave movements so basically here it was kind of perfect right what could happen from here if that's really five waves movement then we might start the double wave correction until wednesday to this point and then start a decision are we going for a crush like all the way down or are we going for a new high and that's what we should pay attention to another scenario to happen potentially is that this was wave number one but number wave three could be extended and by that we might just pull back a bit drop lower create actually big wave down which long like this would be uh, kind of uh, if this is one two okay three four five so that could turn to be just one each of that would be uh, five then correction and then five to another another way okay uh, like uh, smaller views then con then correction and drop again until wednesday and on wednesday start the reversal so two scenarios to follow for me every two waves up is a sell last week we've been talking about these two waves up if you remember okay that's what we were looking for right and that's the trend line and that's the bearish hidden divergence so we couldn't ask for more of course it was really perfect and we got a drop so we basically got what we wanted the question is what how it's going to continue for now so everyone who is short keep your shorts of course free the risk by moving stop loss to break even right it's very very important here all right so that's the dollar yen and s p believe it or not is following now with s p it's a bit tricky because technically we have all the room for 2200s i've been talking about that you are aware of that you know that but here is a but we are too close for that okay and that that is relevant only if we actually measure this pattern but if we measure this area which is the real bottom without spike then we are already on 161.8 and we are already false breaking and we are under heavy bearish divergence and that's a huge sign that maybe the top was already created and maybe there is a big chance that this is a head and shoulders as well this trend line so far holds this double top so far holds there is a big chance very big chance that this is a beginning of this okay and that's what we have to pay attention to because that might be very serious daily chart is ready for that weekly chart is ready for it and monthly chart is ready for that let's see what the fed has for us and how the market will blow the fed's news as i said uh, last week there is a chance we are going for some kind of triangle i was looking for something like that but it might be the first version like this okay so let's see how and what the fed uh, uh, brings with it and how the market blows it and expect things to happen after that now i showed s p of course it's relevant for every single index you can imagine and if they will move they all will move and will do this job now uh, we can also talk about uh, we talked about dollar yen but it's relevant for all the yen pairs okay uh, for cad yen we might go since it didn't complete the triple cycle it's completed only two we might go for this just use your imagination how how serious that could be okay uh well excuse me for 
not clear trend line but this is the idea that we could go and drop 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 until the next divergence will start to complete itself that could be several hundreds of points and that's massive okay same for everywhere OZ and just just take a look okay you see that that might be the beginning of the next move that was the first wave double wave correction and that might be the beginning okay so there is a very very big chance we are only on the beginning right now uh, for OZ and I keep bearish view uh, until here at least so every pullback as a sell for here maybe after again lower so again we can talk about all the yens the idea remains the same nothing changed and for pounding of course we expect long drop down it's only question when exactly it's going to happen not if and yeah we could first of all get some pullback up and anyway you got a point next majors to come euro dollar euro dollar is a mystery why because yeah it continued the up move as we wanted after the equal tails last week we talked about that but the thing is here that there is a chance that monthly chart didn't end its drop down and basically technically this divergence should stop and continue to create it itself so there's a chance we're going for this and this okay before the long pullback okay and the ecb is ready to take steps and it might if there will be no choice so for me the euro dollar is basically more like a potential sell-off if the dollar will be actually increased and this is the area okay <laughs> excuse me for the double pattern but this is the area where we have to pay attention to and that's what it does right now currently it does this and we might start to go and see some kind of wedge okay something like that until wednesday with the divergence and then potentially boom all the way for a new button it doesn't matter how it turns around for me euro dollar is only sell even if not this scenario then my scenario will remain here okay potential top a potential false break out of this range and then continuation so until the fed i would avoid euro and we'll be looking to go and sell the wedge breakout or to buy the rally after the fed if continues back to 115 116 maybe slightly higher but possible okay but that's what i'm looking to do pound dollar well tricky very tricky but seems like game over right for uh for the bears well not really <laughs> not really sure all will be decided uh, by uh, uh, the Fed, of course. Currently, the pound is running, and there is no uh, reason why it wouldn't continue. We had two big waves down. We had two small waves down. We had everything here. We had triple view on the long run, right? We should go and cross this uh, successfully and potentially. So, for me, we are aiming about 153. Then we'll be looking again after the Fed. What about to happen? This or this back to the big two waves and that's possible okay so let's see how and what fed brings with it okay uh one more on the list and that's very interesting basically from uh, uh, the majors that i moved uh, forward to crosses that's the euro pound and for me euro pound is yet a buy by two scenarios one scenario uh, we are breaking this trend line and we are moving to here completing this kind of wedge and from here with the next divergence to form start to go two ways down below here back to the trend line okay scenario number two we are moving now into two waves below this area back to the trend line and from here flying up again correcting this way which scenario will happen we'll have to follow but we have two scenarios to follow and that's what i want to happen and trade may uh, crosses pound sorry dollar cut first of all okay dollar cut monster why because dollar cut reaches exactly what we wanted it crossed the 136 now slightly above it could go to 140 don't get me wrong here okay it could go to 140 
maybe even slightly higher, like 142 or so. Uh, that's that's possible and potential. But we are coming to its top. We are coming for the next drop. Uh, it's warming up. It's uh, almost there, and we just follow for a setup. For investment, from my point of view, it is ideal to start attacking it. Don't overexpose yourself. Go and, and uh, have more uh, above 140. Okay, uh, if it goes against, but this is a huge area to start and to collect the cells. It's only a question of time once we get into drop it could take time okay this is a trend line if we complete a breakout that's a monster divergence and once it does that's where we are heading okay that's a huge opportunity and that's going to happen only question of time where exactly from so for investment it's good to be in for uh, not investment it's better first of all to confirm a false break and divergence to complete by ticking down on the slope, then we can go and sell. Same with pound Canadian, which is massively crossing this daily beautiful uh, double waving 161.8. If it managed to retrace inside, okay, and close below, we will be looking for a sell opportunity. So, for example, let's say this is a four hour chart, okay, let's uh, assume it will make the reversal. Okay, then two waves up on lower time frames, and we can go and sell. Okay, versus this top, of course. If it continues higher, then nothing changed of the view, of course. Everything remains same. The only thing changed that the two cycle idea. This, remember, would now turn to be for a potential false break like this. So a break up, maybe rising towards to 12 or so. Okay, it's also potentially maybe slightly higher until the next divergence takes place and then false break type takes place. So no rush here, passions. Okay, it's too easy to get overexposed, but really no reason to do so. For me, the best thing to do would be just to follow the most relevant trend line. And I was following this trend line. Uh, sorry, <laughs> for let's do it this way. Okay, I was following this trend line and uh, well going through the bottoms of course all the bottoms we didn't get the break okay it was tried it was right on the line never really successfully broke but now there is one more line which is more relevant and this is this of course so let's see what actually it, it does where it successfully brings some kind of convergence because it still doesn't bring us any convergence and then once it's ready all the way down has much more pips over a thousand pips over a thousand pips so once it hits it hits and that's what we have to be ready for it's not there yet though pound Aussie, the next one bouncing very nicely uh did the first two waves down you remember that right uh now basically ideally we should get uh, two waves up and then this to happen Okay, so we should follow that, but for that we need to break above the trend line, of course, this one. And as long as, it, as long as it follows this trend line, there is always a chance that it's going to be just a triple movement, like this. Okay, it doesn't matter how we turn it around. For me, pound Aussie, it's only and only and only sell. Uh, currently, it's going uh, well uh, up, so providing very nice. Uh, areas to go for a, for a sell if it keeps rolling if not this is the trend line we will have to pay attention to and from there break below that if this is uh, what happens we break below two waves up very very important two waves up and we can go and look for a sell the idea is remember small risk huge reward and there is a potential huge reward because the weekly chart is really providing some massive numbers and that's what we have to pay attention to Aussie dollar, well, it's a bit of mystery, but for me, yet ideally a buy. What I want to see is this wave and this wave uh, completing themselves, duplicating themselves back to trend line, which we can find uh, on this uh, area. Okay, so something like that. And if we complete these two waves, that could turn to be a nice, very nice buy opportunity for new highs. But if this line is broken, 
then we are just keep moving inside this kind of area and maybe even aiming for a new bottom uh, which could contribute the pound to rally to continue to rally and the euro also to continue to rally actually so uh, doesn't matter how it turns around it makes sense but by the way for euro also uh, it could be very very interesting thing here to happen take a look okay so what do we have here we have a potential big two waves to happen that means above 170 could that happen definitely yes okay but if you take a look okay there's another re reason for that to happen and then this okay so that's why i say if those are really going to create new bottoms then we can be looking for pullbacks and join this rally to above 170 just imagine the potential okay so too many things are going to be decided uh, this uh, uh, this week uh, if we are continue to rally and we get some kind of convergence then it, it's going to be massively great opportunity to look for two pullbacks and a buy all the way to 170 that could be monster and i suggest to follow this monster ozzy kiwi another interesting pair for me it was and remain only a buy i said it not once not twice too many times we are now in a great area and the question is are we going for this double cycle and from there a rally or are we going for a false break here and then a rally uh, if it's the option number one, it's easy, we'll have to follow. If it does reverse as option number two, then what we have to see is this bottom, which is uh, this support, breaking down, okay, retracing inside, creating a false break above uh, this uh, bottom, of course, okay, ideally breaking above here. On lower time frame, we, uh, we can be looking for convergences to uh, to happen, to complete themselves. Okay, so some kind of false break, okay, convergence uh, to be created. And then what we are looking for is basically like a rally, two waves down, and a breakout of here, and a rally. And that could be a really good opportunity trading that versus the bottom risk could be small potential could be huge and well it definitely worth the pay attention to and why I'm so bullish on uh, this cycle for one reason for me that was the convergence here basically I expect that to happen all that is relevant of course as long as this, this bottom holds now what could happen alternatively and that's a potential of course that we are just turning into a range okay this was a false break it could turn be like a false break this was a false break and we basically will play it here so one more drop to here and that should be looking to pounce so as i said we have two scenarios if it continues lower okay let it go without even trying to join it we'll be looking to buy from the bottoms but if it's false breaking here uh, as I explained before our chart and create some opportunity to go and buy that could be really really great and start the rally as we wanted gold and silver uh, at this stage I prefer to avoid them can tell that I am totally ignoring the, the the way that we are going for one more bottom that's a big chance for that to happen especially after the Fed daily chart does look like that uh, if we are going to turn around the false break the fir first false break we have had uh, didn't provide its uh, where is my line here didn't provide a real uh, uh, bounce yet we might go and try one more bottom and then reverse that's a possibility and we have to follow that but we also have to keep in mind that that could not be a special cycle here uh not not one i really like but that could turn to be this kind of cycle with a false break as i said and rally we always will be looking for this false break if it happens we are going back to 15 at least on this cycle but first of all it has to happen if it and if we can just continue lower okay and just drop then we are going for one more button and according to the uh, monthly chart that could be all the way to below 12 11 maybe even below 10 before we are long-term buying so that's basically all i think it's more than enough to be ready for this week um, 
I hope I covered it all for you. And remember, this time patience is the key. Don't overexpose, don't over trade, wait a bit, let the things happen, trade it right after that. I wish you a wonderful week, good trading, and I'll see you during the daily forecasts. Thank you for your time watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Yours, Vladimir.